Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. The Taliban have said that Afghanistan's new government will be announced in the next few days and those who have served in prior cabinets in the past 20 years would not be included. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Islamist militia have focused on keeping banks, hospitals and government machinery running after the final withdrawal of US forces. The extraordinary success of this mission. President Biden forcefully rejected criticism of his decision to end America's 20-year war and declared the end of an era in which the United States used uses military power to remake other countries. Instead, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that the U.S. military intervention in Afghanistan had achieved nothing but tragedy. New Orleans officials have imposed a citywide curfew as large parts of Louisiana and Mississippi still remain without power following Hurricane Ida. More than one million homes and businesses are still in the dark. Ida took about 216 substations and more than 3,000 kilometers of power lines, including all eight of the main transmission lines that feed New Orleans. While the hurricane speed has slowed, authorities continue to warn of storm surges and heavy rains. South Korean lawmakers have voted to require hospitals to place surveillance cameras in operating rooms after a series of medical accidents. The bill makes it the first developed country to require closed-circuit cameras to record surgical procedures. The move comes after a series of medical accidents involving unqualified staff standing in for surgeons. The Korean Medical Association claims video monitoring will undermine trust in doctors and violate patient privacy. Japan has put a batch of Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine on hold after a foreign substance was found in a vial. A pharmacist saw several black particles in one vial while checking for foreign substances before the vaccine's use. It comes less than a week after Japan suspended the use of about 1.63 million Moderna doses due to contamination. Local media reports say there is no evidence so far of any health hazards caused by the potentially contaminated vaccine. At least 32 passengers have died, including two children, and more than 20 were injured when a bus fell from a cliff in Peru. The accident happened on a narrow stretch of Peru's central highway, some 60 kilometers east of the capital Lima. According to survivor accounts, it hit a rock before falling 200 meters off the cliff. A search and rescue effort is underway for possible survivors and to recover bodies. Italian authorities have rescued 191 migrants overnight from seven different boats near the island of Lampedusa. The migrants were provided with life jackets and water, while rescuers remained with the wooden boats until the Italian Coast Guard arrived to transport them to the island. According to data, the number of migrants arriving in the country has more than doubled compared to last year. The World Health Organization has found no evidence of Ebola in the samples of a patient who was thought to be Ivory Coast's first case of the disease in 25 years. After a new analysis from a lab in France, the World Health Organization says it now considers that the patient did not have the virus. The diagnosis sparked a huge contact tracing operation by the organization. The WHO said it will now downgrade that response. A group of drone enthusiasts in Indonesia are providing a contactless medicine and food delivery service to COVID patients isolating at home. Armed with five drones, the seven-member team has been working around the clock since early July to provide deliveries. The recovered drone medic team is working with the local coronavirus task force to deliver medicine at least five times a day. During the peak of the latest outbreak in July, they made up to 25 rounds of deliveries in one single day. And finally, a Paris auction is set to have one of the most peculiar items ever seen, a Triceratops dinosaur. The fossilized remains of the Triceratops, named Big John, will be sold in late October and could fetch up to one and a half million euros. Paleontologists unearthed the first piece of bone in 2014, and by the time they were done, had found 60% of the skeleton, including a near-complete skull. According to experts, Big John roamed the lands of modern-day South Dakota more than 66 million years ago. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.